Hi, welcome to Art with Heart. I'm Elsa Sugunanathan, and today we're here on beautiful Gadigal lands. I'm so glad you could join me today. Come along for a paint, a chat, and just a good time. Let's go. I would like to start my video today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which I stand, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and I acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded. Today, I will be painting and sharing with you on stolen land. We must acknowledge that climate justice is a First Nations issue and that we must also fight for the rights of First Nations peoples. Today I'm only going to be using four painting utensils. First is a big brush I found around the house. Second is a medium sized flat brush. Third is a smaller, more pointed brush. And last is a plastic knife that I'm going to be using as a palette knife. I'm actually only going to be using five colors today. Red, blue, and yellow can make up the rest of the colors we need. Now I like to use the plexiglass of an old photo frame as a paint palette. It's good to reuse and upcycle old things. Today I wanted to paint and share with you an Australian landscape. So I've decided to do an Australian grassy woodland scene, which is a common landscape you would see across rural Australia. As you can see, I started off with a base of white paint, making it easy to blend. I added some blue for the sky and blue for our background, blue gum trees. The Australian blue gum is actually endemic to East Australia which means it's only really found along the east coast. Here in New South Wales, we have beautiful forests full of blue gums, like in the Blue Mountains. I actually went to the Blue Mountains recently and it was devastating to see the aftermath of the recent bushfires. At least 80% of the Blue Mountains burned in those fires. Just like scientists predicted, Bushfire danger is increasing as a consequence of climate change. Our bushfire seasons are getting longer and more severe. If we don't want to lose these beautiful landscapes and Australian native species, we must play our role, no matter big or small, in leading more green and sustainable lives. Something that I think is incredibly important to lead a more climate conscious life is to integrate indigenous perspectives into our climate activism. So for me, that means a lot of reading and learning about indigenous histories. I would highly recommend the book Dark Emu by Bruce Pascoe as a start, um, but there's many more out there. I hope you enjoyed that fast motion of me creating the background. I am now going in and creating the gum trees. This was my favorite part about the painting it really brings it all to life. I would like to give credit to Len Hand, who created a tutorial on YouTube that really inspired me for this piece. I will link it in the comments below. And I would also like to add that I'm not a trained artist. I like to paint in my spare time and I think it's a great way to express my creativity. I think that art should be accessible to everyone um, you don't need to use expensive oil paints, you can use cheap acrylic ones from the news agency and paintbrushes you have around the house. Now as I add the leaves and finish off this painting, I would like to leave you with the message. Go out and enjoy nature. For me that's going on bushwalks and recreating it through art, it may be taking photos or being outside with your dog, whatever it is, go outside and enjoy the world that we're in. Appreciate it and become aware of the things that you can do to help it, to give back to this planet. So I'm just finishing up with some final touches. I added an extra branch and some more leaves just to fill out the painting a bit more. And yeah, that concludes my video today. Thank you so much everyone for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon.